Hi, excuse me, hold on there. I don't need a disclaimer. This is my channel. I give it to your pet. If you don't have one, maybe I give it to your best friend. If you don't have that either, hmm, I can't help you. All opinions are mine, and that's that. <laughs> People often ask why filmmakers do shorts. Here are some of the reasons why. One, to beef up your portfolio. Two, for practice. Better to fill on several shorts than to fill in a feature, I suppose. Three, for the culture. For art, not every script is 300 pages long. Sometimes a short film will get the point across just as much. Four, for pitch purposes. There are people making shorts and getting massive deals with big studios and networks and whatnot. Five, for film festivals, people gotta see their movies. Shorts can be viewed at festivals and online too on YouTube and on Vimeo. So let's get right into it, shall we? My top five short films from our fifth 2016. At number five, Love, Hate and Ketchup. This is a satirical look at the Institute of Marriage. Guy comes home from another failure and has to deal with this nagging wife all over again except that on this particular day things are different on this fateful day he changes things for good or maybe not the movie was written and directed by mike steve adelaide so go find it probably on youtube somewhere at number four barriga sugar this is one of my favorites of all the shorts it's a sweet story about friendship juxtaposed on a bleak backdrop it is a periodical with great picture costume props it was shot outside of Lagos, which was refreshing for a change, you know. It was directed by Ifo Machupogon, and it stars Tina Umba, I love her. Lucy Ame, Brutus Richard. Now what for this guy, you? As in only you walk home. Moving on. And newcomer child actors Halimas Olariwaju and Sunde Aziz, they did a very good job. Both of them, fantastic stuff. This movie is so adorable, go look for it. At number three, Lodgers. This movie was written and directed by Kenny Ogunlola and it stars funny man A.Y. Makun. Really, what do you expect? It was hilarious. The movie perfectly illustrates how Africans abandon their successful careers in their native countries and migrate to developed countries in, the, in Europe or in the Americas in search of greener pastures. And we all know it's never quite as easy as most of them are confronted with a rude awakening, like wake up and smell the coffee. And as all AY movies go, this one is positively funny, so go see it. And at number two, Catface, this movie was dark. Like, it's a dark, supernatural, Afro-European short thriller by filmmaker Ogo Kwe. A tale of revenge and African mysticism. It's about a vigilante born through supernatural means who decides to start killing a group of violent internet serial killers. Kind of sounds like Dexter if you ask me. I reckon that it might be turning into some sort of superhero type series thing at some point. So I think I'll pay money to see it. Dope stuff. At number one, Tear. This was my absolute favorite of all the shorts I saw. Tear is an interracial romantic drama that follows the relationship of two lovers from their first encounter to the dramatic episode that tore them apart. Yes, it sounds sad and stuff, but it's an experimental movie that uses no dialogue at all, no facial actions, nothing. It relies solely on human hands, like, like the entire movie is just hands, you know. Awesome stuff. The movie was written and directed by Gregon Avokurai. I hope I did not murder that name. I'd love to take a peek into this dude's mind. I mean, like, there's some crazy stuff going in there. <laughs> Mad. Anyway, so those are my top five short films from my fifth 2016. And that's my time, people. I hope you had a good time here with me, because I did. Do not forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. Do follow the link to my social media in the description box below. In case you did not know, it's the Delphinator here. Until the next one, toodles.